My bad, we trapped! Okay then, where do you want to look? Fine, let's go someplace else. Let's try over here now. Huh? Poor bastard didn't stand a chance. Let's try over here now. Job, not mine. <gasps> Fine, let's look someplace else. Whatever that was, it was bad. Let's try over here now. Let's try over here now. Fine. Let's look someplace else.
There's our boy. Knew he was around here somewhere. Okay. Then where you want to look? See that fucker? <laughs> I think you and I can come to some sort of arrangement and work together. What do you think, Artie? Okay. I guess you and me can work something out. That's what I like to hear. If I'm gonna keep hold of the South Downs, I'm gonna need some help. Your wish is my command, boy. Consider it done. Eventually, I got a witness to come forward with information that implicated someone other than Sammy Robinson. A woman who lived near Robinson's place saw Sal Marcano and his son Georgie leaving the bar the night of the killings. I tried to bring Sal in for questioning, but all my efforts were blocked by a Judge Holden, who we now know was on the take. I've been by for a visit, sir. Uh, don't you worry. We're moving product through here faster than hot shite. Mr. Clare, <laughs> got some real nice items in just the other day. You should check them out. That long. I can't move! Done. Let's try over here now. Run! Run! Gun! Gun! Oh my god, he called the police! Someone! Vacation can't come soon enough. 
Motherfucker's got business to attend to. That looks like fun. Hey, man. He's dead. Let's try over here now. Run! Run! Get out of here! <clears throat> Run! I think we got trouble. I want Eddie Kenner found, here. You track down that cocksucking asshole and bring him back here. I've had the fellas look at Mr. Peralta, but there's nothing. Looks like he skipped down. Fuck me. I'm in some deep shit here, Gene. It wasn't just me expecting to make money from that fight. Tommy, Georgie, Sal.
Gambling in this city is now under my control. Work for me and you get to stay among the living. <clears throat> okay, okay. I'll work for you. Smart choice. <laughs> Can you send some guys to South Downs? Help keep it in our hands. Good deal. You're making the right call coming to me to secure both rockets. You won't be sorry. last, uh, capo, that's when he turned his sights on Sal Marcano. Listen, it's like I said before, it's the same off who ran over in Vietnam. You want to bring down the dipshit in charge? You target their men and infrastructure, eliminate their ability to fight back. And before they know it, they're standing there all alone, ass hanging out in the wind. Realized, Clay, you any relation to the boxer? <laughs> Guess not. Tired of getting sand kicked in your face. <sighs> Gotta do calisthenics three times a week. Keep my heart rate up. You got blood on your shirt. Oh, ah, uh, cut myself shaving. There's something that you need to hear. Alvarez surfaced. Intercepted this call a little while ago. I don't understand a word of that. You mind translating? <laughs> Basically, you scared the shit out of Alvarez. He's ready to hightail it back to Cuba. Wants his dear uncle Zaraga to come rescue him. And what did Zaraga say? He told him to meet him at the lighthouse on the southern edge of the bayou. He'd send a boat to pick him up. I'm guessing that was a lie. <laughs> Zaraga was a police officer back in Havana when Batista was still running the country. He also provided security for Sal's casinos. The two of them go way back. As soon as Zaraga hung up the phone, he called Sal and told him where he could find his nephew. Which means I need to get down there before Marcano's men. Sal's not gonna fuck around when it comes to Alvarez. So make sure your shit's squared away.
It's only a matter of time till I find you. You understand English? See? I killed the men outside. I only want to talk to you, so I'm gonna put my gun down, all right? If you try and fuck me, I kill you! Fair enough. You are the one who wants to kill me! I wasn't trying to kill you, I was trying to find you. Your uncle, he sold you out. He ain't coming to get you. You're lying. I just spoke to him, he said he was sending a boat. Wait, you think it's a coincidence that as soon as you got here, those grease balls showed up? Zaraga called Marcano, told him where to find you. I, I must find a phone. Jesus, man, there's no one for you to call. Marcano is never gonna let you out of this city. He's gonna use you, and when he gets what he wants, he's gonna kill you. The only shot of getting out of this alive is me. What do you want from me? Tell me where Marcano's counterfeit operation is set up and we're square. Everything is uh, in a boxing ring that Tony Marcano owns, but it's already up and running. Yeah, that's all I need to know. Come on. It's time we got the hell out of here. Where are you taking me? I know someone who can get you out of the city. Make sure Marcano doesn't find you. going on? I need your help getting this man out of the city. He's in a lot of trouble with Salman Khan. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't. Hey, this is who you told me about? Yeah, he's the one. Listen, father, I'm really counting on you here. I got nowhere else I can take him. Shit, I'm... All right. I know a Jesuit in New Mexico. He helps people in situations like this. What needs to happen right now? Marcano's gonna tear the city apart looking for him. All right, I'll make the call. Pasa, por favor. Aquí estás a salvo. Gracias. I appreciate this.
Jimmy Marcano brought in a counterfeiter from Cuba, right? Well, Sal spent a couple of months trying to print the money himself, but none of it was worth a damn. The color was wrong, printing was cockeyed, you name it. He needed someone who knew what the fuck they were doing. So he used his connections and found a man named Alvarez. And this Alvarez was also counterfeiting money for Castro. Most of our enemies counterfeit American money. Hell, some of our allies do too. Sorry, he's gone. What do you mean, he's gone? All you had to do is drive down to the goddamn lighthouse and pick him up. It's not my fault Alvarez is running all over the goddamn place. I wanted to lock his ass up, but you wouldn't hear of it. The last thing we need is Zaraga finding out that we treated his nephew like dog shit. You understand? Then Lincoln Clay comes in shooting the shit out of it. Lincoln Clay. Lincoln Clay. I'm so sick and fucking tired of hearing about this cocksucker. He's just one man. A fucking nigga. We're skating a thin line here, Tommy. You understand? This thing falls apart. We fucked all of us. So, what the fuck would you do? What the fuck would I do? Listen here, this ain't rocket science. If that fucking nigga got to Alvarez, it means he knows about the plate. He's gonna come after him, you understand? Get your ass down to that motherfucking gym and protect them. Yeah, sure. I'm on it. This shit ends right here, right now. No more fuck-ups. Fuck me. According to these reports, Tommy Marcano had the money press in a boxing gym he operated. Tommy knew Lincoln was coming for the plates, but he felt he had to keep up appearances. The second he started canceling fights and shutting the place down was the second people started thinking he was out of his league. He wasn't about to allow that to happen. How did Lincoln Clay gain access to the gym? He had me track down a man named Alcee Bennett. Alcee is a small-time hustler that worked for Sammy until he double-crossed him and was kicked out of the hollow. After that, he scratched out a living recruiting fighters for Tommy's jungle fights. If he vouched for Lincoln at the door, Lincoln could get in without a big ruckus. Alcee's by the briar patch, not far from here. I'll stop by and say hello, see how he's getting along. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> well, fuck me running. If it ain't Lincoln Clay. Surprised to see me, Alcee? Mm, I heard about Sammy and Ellis. Tough break. I guess you made it out okay. Speak of them once more, and I'll slice you from here to asshole. Let's go. We're taking a drive. Assuming I don't have a choice here. What do you think? Lead the way. You know I've stayed away. I ain't stepped foot in the hollow since November of 62. Almost six years. I know. Can you at least tell me where we're going? The Acadia. It's where Tommy Marcano holds his jungle fights, right? You ran him over! Oh, well, what was I saying? It is. And you've been recruiting black fighters for him? I have. Good. Because I want in. What? Why? I wanted you to know I'd have told you. If I'm sticking my ass out like that, I need to know why. Motherfucker, you lucky to be alive after what you did to Sammy. You really think he wouldn't notice you stealing all that money? Look, I paid for that a hundred times over. Six years banished from the only place I ever call home. Christ. I couldn't even go see my mama on her deathbed. You made your choice. 
And now it's time to make another one. And I do this. You get a clean slate. Come and go through the hollow as you please. Fuck. Okay. I hear if you win out, Tommy needs you in person. That true? He likes the size of the winners. See if there's someone he wants to bring on regular. Unit Watch out! Repeat, abandoned search. Return to anyway, control. Like I was saying, he likes the size of the winners. See if there's someone he wants to bring on regular. Or if they're just a one-time deal. Where's this happen? Usually up there in his office. One of his guys will meet you in the locker. What I was saying was, usually up there in his office, one of his guys will meet you in the locker room after the fight. Hold up, Alcee. Who the fuck's this? This? This is Jack Knapp Johnson. What's he here for? Fuck you mean, what he here for? We here to fight, boy. Gotta search him. No weapons allowed. If you change your mind, come on by. Do what you gotta do. Watch where you put your hands, motherfucker. Save it for the ring, dipshit. Go ahead. Locker room's down here on the east. Hang back, boys. Motherfucker needs a doctor. Just dump them in an alley. Let nature take its course. You good now. Go on. How you, Neville? Where you at, I'll see. All right. I gotta go make the arrangements. Give them your name and such. You go on and get changed. Who you got with you tonight, LC? New guy. New guy looks tough, but my money's staying on the brawler. I gotta ask you something, LC. What's that? All you niggas love beating the fuck out of each other. So what happens if we get caught? Probably what you think. <sighs> For a chance to go home again, it's worth it. No matter what happens, we should go. This is it. You nervous? Should I be? Guess that depends on where all this ends. You're gonna head through these doors and they announce your name. Then make your way to your corner. Where are you going? Oh, I'll meet you there. This part of the show is all about you. They love showing off their fighting niggas. Get in there, meat. And the jungle fights continue, boys! The next challenge in the face, Nick Boom Boom Beaumont, comes in at over six feet tall, weighing approximately 220 pounds. This is Jack Knife Johnson! Yeah! You love this, don't you? His teeth in! Dead brother here! Just had to start something. Make him scream! to the brawler. You gotta keep moving and don't let him get you in the corner. Stay out of the corner. Got it.
next up, the champ! Making his way to the ring is the beast of the bayou, the rampage of River Row, your champion, Gray Digabon! You know why they call him Grave Digger. Because he buries motherfuckers? Well, yeah. So how do I beat him? You hit him really, really hard. Ish! That's it, kid. Let's go. What happens now? You head on back to the locker room and collect your winnings. Where are you heading? Me? I got business to attend to. You niggas really know how to brawl. Uh, my respect, that's for fucking sure. You must think I'm some kind of goddamn moron coming in here like you did. I've never been one to shy away from a calculated risk. Maybe you should have. I'll mix some vegetable oil in it. Makes the gasoline thick, sticky. We're just gonna let it soak in a little bit. <laughs> Work his way into every nook and cranny. <laughs> that way when I light it, that shit's gonna burn like napalm. <laughs> And you, you are gonna hurt like no one's hurt before. Fuck you. Guess you ready to die. You still be conscious as the flames creep up your legs. But as they burn, <coughs> you'll be hit in the gut with a sickening revelation. Before you die, you gonna feel your pecker burn. It's gonna curl and twist as the flames consume it. <coughs> The pain will be extraordinary. Drop him! That's a lot of dipshit. Grab and drop him! Fuck, I asked him! Don't you know you're dead? You don't have to do this. We can work something out. Only thing needs working out of your funeral. <laughs> so that's that then. Sure looks that way. You know, Sal wanted me to go to law school. Wait for some big company. Maybe run for office. Do something decent with your goddamn life, you understand? Should've listened to him. It's in the blood, you know. Yeah. You are who you are. No point in arguing with yourself about it. Fuck you.
I can't go out like this. Not like this! Say hello to Lou. Tell him Sal will be along shortly. No, you take no. my time with you. Come back. Ah! 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 Flush him out. Stay out of my way.
Gear from other side. I'm gonna clobber you. Switching out ammo! you pal running for cover Mellow. That true? Of course it is. I'm just getting a feel for how they do things around this precinct. But I can still make things happen. plates that Sal Marcano stole from the Federal Reserve. I don't recall. Langan once told me he couldn't tell any other cheat. That the world doesn't work that way. <laughs> I spent the better part of 40 years trying to prove him wrong. When I was just lying to myself. 
Look at how we treat each other. Compassion is a sign of weakness. But greed is a virtue. The poor is considered morally corrupt while every excess of the powerful is celebrated. We sent kids off to die. For what? So someone can make a few bucks? Lincoln was right. He was always right. <laughs> there ain't never gonna be another Dr. King or a Bobby Kennedy. But there always gonna be another Sal Marcano, another Sammy Robinson. Another Lincoln Clay. We are cruel and wicked people. Fucking king! Nice work out there. The entire goddamn city's buzzing about what we done to Makano. There's no one left to stand in our way. We run this city now. Did just like you asked, Lincoln. All the action in the district is running smooth and the money's coming. Now all I need is the official word and we'll settle in permanently. Last time we sat at this table, you called on me. Why? Because you know I'm the motherfucker who gets shit done. Always will be. You got a plan for this territory, right? That's the only reason I can think of why you wouldn't call me. Let's finish this together. It's what Danny would have wanted. This one's all you, Bert. I got big plans for this one, lad. And it starts with a statue of Marcano getting arse fucked by a goddamn badger. Holy Christ! How the fuck did we make it through this shite in one piece? I thought for certain Scaletta would have his throat slit by now. You did a bang-up job here, lad. A goddamn dream come true. Can't wait to see where we go from here. I, I halfway figured Lincoln will have killed us all by now. What we done here? Taking the city away from Marcana and doing it without killing each other? We gotta be proud of that. I'll admit it. I had my doubts, but no more. You came through just as you promised. And I'm lucky to be a part of it. Kinda thought I'd be gay to shit by now. So anything shy of that, and I'm good. Fuck. Fuck. You know how long I've been waiting for someone to stand up and be a man of his word? And in all my fucking days, you, Lincoln Clay, are the first motherfucker to do it. Thank you. You've done a hell of a job, Lincoln. Couldn't have done a better job myself. Probably. We're living proof that the ways of Marcano, the lying, the backstabbing, the cheating, don't need to run in that direction. Those ways are as dead as he is. <laughs> 